Faceless men are trained to relinquish their former identities and become no one, which allows them to become entirely different people, all in service to the many-faced God. They also believe that, as servants of death, they must serve above all else and that they must deliver upon certain people the gift of death. How easy it is for the faceless man to disguise himself, or portray himself as someone he is not. The faceless man is the master of hiding in plain sight. You may know him, he is no stranger to this place. But how will one ever know who is real, who can be trusted and who should be feared? Obviously the reason we are here today is to give out information in the double homicide of Liberty German and Abigail Williams. On February 13th, Abigail Williams 13 and Liberty German 14 went on a hike at the Delphi Historic Trails. On February 13th, they were reported missing later in the afternoon when they failed to return to a pickup location as a family member returned to pick them up from their hike. After organized searches, on February 14th, one of those search parties unfortunately found the bodies of the two teens. Evidence in this case has led investigators to believe this is a double homicide. We believe and that's what we're investigating at this time. Evidence found at the murder scene, the cause of death, any motive or clue that might be the piece missing from the puzzle but how will we ever know? How will BG ever be caught if he hasn't been yet? We believe this person is currently between the age range of 18 and 40, but might appear younger than his true age. Dir directly to the killer, who may be in this room. For more than two years, you never thought we would shift gears to a different investigative strategy, but we have. We believe you are hiding in plain sight. Somebody knows. And if you're watching, we'll find you. Who's next? I hate to ask you that question. I'd give my life to not have to. But I know you've asked yourself that very question. We must recognize that you see we're all the same. We're all human beings. We must keep our resolve for Libby and Abby. For this community. And frankly, to ensure that good trumps evil. And it will. Please be patient. What if the law is keeping from the public that could help identify this monster is information that in every meeting they have about the case because he is one of them? not law enforcement but one of more power. One who shaved his beard one who is in all the meetings. One who resigned and is now working with the prosecuting attorney, Hal Quant. On the day of the murders he said he was in a meeting but has failed to be transparent about that meeting, what if what they know he knows too.